Hi everyone, it's Irma here and in this video we'll talk about the countdown timer which is a great feature if you're planning a sale or there's an upcoming event or a website launch for example. The timer creates a sense of urgency in a visually pleasing way. So in this video I'll cover how you can create a countdown timer in WordPress and some ways you can use it. Let's start with a little tutorial on how you can make a countdown timer. The first way is with a plugin, like this one, for example. So I have this plugin installed and activated already, and it allows adding timers with shortcodes or widgets. With widgets, go to Appearance, Widgets. So now let's look for the widget here. It should be at the bottom, and here it is. Now you can choose where to add it. I'll choose the sidebar add widget and first thing I'm going to do I'm going to put it on top here and now you can customize it big sale for example could be the title of a countdown to a big sale and now just choose a date hour minute second when it's going to end and a good thing about this is you can choose styles so let's try this one and make weeks from timer and hit save so let's check out a page. I have one here, as you see, here's the sidebar and let's click on refresh. Here's our timer. So this is the style I chose, but as you saw, you could choose more styles. Let's choose C3P, let's see how that looks. Don't forget to save. And let's click on refresh. And here it is. You can see there are some options, but that's more or less it for this timer. If you want more options, you can try out the countdown element in Visual Composer. Let me show you how it looks on a blank page first. So here's the blank page in Visual Composer and let's add an element. You can find the countdown timer in the hub, countdown, and if you don't have it downloaded, just click here, it will have the download element and um, when it's done, just click on the plus icon and it will add the element. And here it is. So, as you can see, there are more options the Visual Composer has here. Of course, the date and time and alignment. You can choose a shape around it, space between the text and the numbers, the gap. You can specify parameters for numbers and the text separately so that's cool right so let's move on to the fun part where you can actually use a countdown timer a coming soon page is a great example i have made one here already so let's add the timer here we go and now it's the default timer here let's adjust it a little bit we can give it a shape for example circle outline in any color you like. Let's pick a green one because of the image there and let's make the font size a little smaller, for example. As you saw, there are more parameters you can adjust, so it looks really cool already, right? You can use a countdown timer for a maintenance page, for example. I have one here and of course adjust it to however you like or Let's say you planned this epic New Year's party for your company and uh, you can make a landing page. And I've made one here already. So as always, you can adjust anything you like. For example, the color, make it bright red <laughs> and do whatever you like. It's all up to you. Now you know exactly what to do with a countdown timer. So thank you all for watching and see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.